What's up guys? We are back in Vegas. It is a beautiful April day. Now let's go check out the Bellagio Buffet. It's the last of the buffets at the MGM properties that I need to go to. Let's go see if it's number one. Alright, so the price is $44.99. Let's see if it's worth it. They do have some great juices and fresh fruit. There's yogurt and muesli. Some more fruit and muffins. They also have a Bill Joan avocado toast station, but I prefer the Bill Joan lock station with salmon, cream cheese, capers, tomato, and onion. There's also French toast, apple crepes, cheese blintzes, and biscuits and gravy, along with waffles and a really big fluffy pancake. There's also eggs, sausage, bacon, and potatoes. And don't forget their signature grilled cheese and tomato soup. Seriously, this juice is really good. For my first plate, I had bagels and lox. I also had French toast, an apple crepe, which was very good, cheese blintz, that was not very good, hash browns, and biscuits and gravy. And I really like how the biscuits are tiny. I also had a cinnamon roll, big fluffy pancake, the shrimp and grits, that was very good, and of course, the signature grilled cheese and tomato soup. There's an assortment of meats, including chicken, turkey, pork belly, and beef ribs. And there's assorted veggies to complete the meal. Chilaquites were okay, but I prefer Excalibur's. And the bone marrow was okay. This plate has chicken, beef ribs, pork belly, bone marrow, chilaquites, and a waffle. And of course we gotta have the salad bar with an assortment of toppings and dressings. There's a variety of pizza and cinnamon rolls. Let's not forget the charcuterie board with meat and cheeses, a seafood boil, fish, and oysters Rockefeller. The seafood bar had mussels, shrimp, tuna poke, and salmon poke. It was too early in the day for the sushi to be put out. Overall, I wasn't impressed with the Asian section. There were some hot and spicy noodles, some wings, fried rice. There were some bao buns, some little shrimp things, and I wasn't impressed with either one. The bao buns, I expect to have a little more flavor, and overall, it just didn't. There's also steamed rice. Sometimes, I get little sample plates of food of things I want to try. There's some tuna poke, salmon poke, crab boil, the hot spicy noodles, and the weird little shrimp thing. And of course, let's not forget dessert. There is a huge selection of desserts here, but to be honest, most of it is straight off the truck, and it's nothing to write home about. Overall, I think the Bellagio Buffet is an okay value. There's nothing that jumps out at me except for the pancake and the grilled cheese. And that's only because it's their signature items. It's not because they're amazingly delicious. I think for the price, you're better off checking out one of the other MGM brunch buffets. I would probably rank Bellagio second. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing.